Hello and welcome to Games Games. Thank you so much for coming to see me play a little bit more of Metal Lords today. Please like and subscribe. I am going to just have a quick look. I don't know what's been happening while my back was turned, so let's just assess what the current situation is. Okay, I got a whole bunch of wood, and I'm pretty happy with that. As well as getting a whole bunch of wood, I should have a whole bunch of saw pit stuff done, and I have been, which is good. So it turns out that the smithy doesn't really do a whole bunch. So I'll get rid of him. The food supply is really what I'm looking for. ridiculous amount of <coughs> bread which will keep us fed. Fuel apparently is low, so let's go and put one more woodcutter at work. Over here, is loose to keep on hunting and my priority is trying to figure out a way to defend myself from what happened last time which means melee soldiers which means regional wealth now which baggage plots have people? So that one has people. That one has people. <coughs> that one has people. <coughs> this one has people. This one has people. We need more food. Food store supply, that's really what it is. I need to survive. Okay, I need my population happiness to improve. So the first step to that is the thing that 
turns. one is highest priority. <laughs> I should have extracted some my population happiness. Uh, apparently the way to do it is just to have lots of food and you know, people in a tavern. Um, as well as that, I'm now going to construct a whole bunch of that's going to help us out. I'm really just going to spend all my time getting ready for the next fight. We will have enough food and fuel. In the meantime, I've got enough Shields, which is going to be extremely helpful. I don't have enough weapons. That's the problem. We've got plenty of food, plenty of bread. We're not going to starve.
and food supply. I'm doing what I can to fix those. Public approval is climbing just a bit. I'm gonna unassign the oxen for just a moment. Get him to help out. It, it annoys me that I still only have a regional wealth of one. Why is that? With the manner I should be getting high tax. Food and fuel is getting there. They're not amazing in any of those things, but food and fuel is getting there. Two spears, 29 shields, 68 war bows. I'm going to turn one of those. Can I turn one of these into something different? I have so many war bows. Very little else. And do those, please.
sending one person to the saw pit. One oxen's at the saw pit, and the other one is helping set up. Three bread, negative one meat. At least I have three bread. Oh, we'll be we'll be cooking with gas soon. Doesn't matter. We will be cooking. Plenty of. Let's get one more oven up and running. It's going to be plenty of bread. The population won't starve. We'll just keep hanging on. Oh, my regional wealth has increased. Thank goodness for that. Sign the oxen uh, from us, and then I can get the oxen to come and help with this part, and then that will help things. Um, Threshing priority high. Threshing priority high. Um, get rid of like most of them. You guys just thresh out the remaining wheat. And now the communal oven. We'll cook. The wheat available. Might put one more in this one. Though. Cold. I need more fuel. Okay. Let me fix that. Cutters Lodge. Not enough. Really? Um. Woodcutters. 
is large. Yeah, he's still doing pretty good. I'm going to test drive this, put another person in the woodcutter's lodge to start off with. If that doesn't work, then I will. Once I survive this winter, there will be a whole bunch more. for me to cook up. I'm still just missing the food supply. But at least we know it's highest priority. Everything else I'm just going to have on average priority. It is really cool to see the set of Masali coming to. I'm going to have a... I'm going to have a walk around my little village and just see it. Now this is pretty impressive. Really built up a whole civilization. Unfortunately, the civilization is not yet ready to defend itself. In order for it to do that, I'm going to need a little bit more regional wealth and some other things. Right now I have regional wealth of 3, I need regional wealth of 5. So I'm going to wait a second. Okay, that's really, really cool. What happened? No, I had regional... this video I'm going to take a break from Mana Lords because I truly don't understand why my regional wealth isn't growing. And really it absolutely should be. enough fuel and enough food. All of the ovens are at work. You two can go and do something else now. temporarily give up.
because I don't understand how I'm supposed to fix this. Um, I'll take a break from Animal Lords and come back. Because I legitimately don't understand what I'm missing. Build my regional wealth. will survive. We have plenty of, um, in fact, we don't even need people in the windmill anymore. In the interest of getting food, I'll just do that. And that will make us, oh, hold on. Apparently, There's still a little bit of grain to turn into flour. Apparently there is, just a little bit more. Apparently also there's a little bit more of that. soon I'm actually going to Google how to increase five regional wealth. No matter what I do, I don't have the regional wealth. Because I don't have the food store supply, something tells me that if to yeah good I'm fine on food and fuel and I'm going to be fine on food and fuel for the rest of this game truth be told um
I just wish my regional wealth was higher. And I can't do anything about that. And obviously when I started playing this, I didn't know anything about regional wealth. trade any of that stuff. So that's going to be my next thing that I research. I have 51 bread. I have so much bread. Apparently my hunters aren't doing very much. If I fix the hunting problem here and create a storehouse that way, then potentially... Problem solved. some people. I'm just going to wait out this winter. Um, and realistically I need stone. I have a surplus of stone. And I need logs. So My good friend here, the logging camp, please keep on logging. And then as soon as possible, I'm going to build a blacksmith, and then I will have swords and shields. And in the meantime, I really don't understand why. If I have one regional wealth, I should have so much more. so many little details about this game. So this is how I will survive winter every single time now. Does my regional wealth suck? Ah. Okay, in the meantime, that's done. Now my question is, Do I require next? Blocks. 
I require planks? constructed okay that's gonna be good eventually Waste of planks. Is it a waste of planks? How many planks do I have?
that's the purpose of everything. And if I can't defeat the bad guys in battle, there's absolutely no point. see a point in try at the very least. The problem is my regional wealth is so low, it's so low that I really don't understand how to fix my problem. save together. In the meantime, my free oxen should help build a bunch of cool things, and I'm going to go and do some research on how to actually upgrade regional wealth, because I'm getting really annoyed at the fact that I can't. And also, realistically, like, my treasury is there, but... It's a shame I can't do anything with it. One way that I can defend my castle immediately, or my area immediately, is arrange towers all along the front here, and then all around the village. Burgish plots I'll extend to about here. And then I can build Burgish plots outside of it as well if need be. with people 
as of right now, for whatever reason. So the basic plan that I'm going to have for defending my village is I get a whole bunch of... Well, first I need to increase my regional wealth. Do you know what? I'm just going to... Alright, I think I've finished this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I need to research how to increase my regional wealth, because until I do that, I'm twiddling my thumbs. Because first I need to increase my regional wealth. Uh, then I need to buy one of these. And then I can start arming up my forces. And then once I've increased my regional wealth, I can do a whole bunch of things. Like, I can just buy food. And then maybe they can form up food stores. Who knows, but you know, like with regional wealth everything will change. See you next time in Games Games.